Hey guys, this is HDGW2. My name is Rapsack. And my name is Oriel. And we're coming back with you for another game from Matchless. This time, going to be coming up against uh, Team Fun. Well, that seems to be their name so far. So um, it looks like we're seeing a bit of a, a, a awkward split here, is it? Yeah, I, I believe it's a 4-1 split. So we've got one guy running up through the middle, uh, heading for the keep. We've got one guy that just dropped off at the mine, which is good. So they'll be able to cap the mine. And uh, another person heading up to the keep. So the warrior and the ranger are going to get this quick Svania kill. And they're going to have a, a player on the mine as well as enforcing it onto the keep. So they're going to be able to get a quick double cap here if they're able to just uh, secure this Ooh, up at the keep. And we can see Fun taking the chieftain out as well. So it's one boss each so far. So we're going to have to have a look up here. It looks like a bit of a cesspit of engagement down here. So the ranger is up on the high ground and he's going to be throwing his uh, chilling axe um, up on, on these players down here. But it does seem like there's a little bit of a resistance on the other side. And he is doing a good job using those traps as well to try and keep those enemy players outside of the capping range. Yeah, I mean, traps in Guild Wars 1 worked a little bit different. They were only around your area and it took a while to cast them. They weren't really viable in PvP. But here, they're so fantastic. We've seen before that positioning being so crucial, especially um, if you're able to set up the traps prior to defending a location. And we can, can see Matchless doing a really good job being able to take the mine and the keep now. So that was a fantastic effort by them to get both of those points and the Svania kill at the start there. That um, poor Necromancer turning into a mower and then subsequently falling. Yeah. <laughs> so it does look like um, Mashless has taken a, a page out of the Book of Paradigm. It looks like they've gone for the fast offense up on the keep and they're going to be pushing them down to the henge here. And it it, uh, it worked well in Paradigm's favor in the previous game. So we're going to see how it turns out for them in this one. You can see absolutely huge map control at the moment, but you can see that mine is being contested at the moment by fun. So we'll see what happens there. So oh, it does look like there's a spirit ranger for fun here, and um, a spirit spirit style ranger is very uh, very unorthodox. I mean, we see it a lot in uh, other games, uh, perhaps not so much in the in the higher PvP games. It's a very good sort of passive buff for your team. It's going to to do really well with that. It's not a very active type of play though. So he's going to be, this ranger here, going to be hunting down that elementalist and he's going to get the kill. Yes, is using the Rampage of One elite skill as well. So that was very good of him, dishing out some extra damage. And he's got, I believe, what is the healing spring instead of the healer's one, which is proven to be very uh, versatile, especially when you've got multiple players on your team. They're going to benefit from that heal. Yes, and it can also remove conditions off of your teammates, so that is very good. It's just going to add to that sort of uh, point defender style where everything's orientated around AoEs and sort of defending your teammates and, and while putting damage on the enemy. You can see, uh, see this hunter now going down at this, the moment. This fight is just going crazy. I think we're seeing a lot of players coming in from both sides. We do see um, casualties on either side, but you've got to remember um, they do hold the keep um, while contesting this point, so they are ahead. So they will be able to pull ahead as long as they can uh, shut this one down. You can say, see the uh, the ranger here switching over to the torch, so being able to use those burning effects. I think um, these fights have been going on for quite a while. It's because they're rolling this with the sort of double. Um, they're going with a double. Guardian build here, which is going to be really defensive. So the fights are going to be a lot more drawn out, but they are going to be a lot more in their favor, I'd find, if they're able to hang on for a bit longer. They've got that sort of extra lasting power. So it's uh, been working out for them, and it's been a slow cap, but they have actually managed to secure more points here. And you can see matches have been able to push fun off all of the cap all of the uh, all of the points so as well as contesting that mine there yeah doing a good job exactly right not being able to uh let your enemy get points is a uh, good way to win in so my you opinion. see the the spirit ranger here and those traps look at that damage just the the putting a cripple and bleed on everyone else and you can see matchless being able to pick up the uh the chieftain just then and it looks like they've got a player over uh, on the mini map at Svania as well so we'll see what happens there so it looks to me as though they've been able to scatter the players from fun here a lot if you have a look on the mini map you can see that they've got players all around the map as well as um trying to lock down uh, i guess the Svania from from the enemy team fun doing a good job here being able to take the keep back and it looks like we've got a good old uh, 2v2 here. We've got an engineer for um, a fun coming in here. That's probably going to be quite good as an engineer is very easy and quick to set up on spot if you've got that supply crate. It does look like it may be on cooldown though as we don't see a lot of turrets coming out. And Matchless was able to pick up on the Svania kill. I'll just uh, point that out. Uh, as well as the Rampage as, as one ability on the Ranger there doing a good job being able to clean that up. Yes, and we have seen uh, Glory here for Team, team Matchless. Um, on the other side, just doing a ton of damage. Uh, he's known for his uh, insane bursts, as many warriors with that Thousand Blades combo these days. So we can see Matchless on the minimap being able to push up to the keep now, trying to secure that. 
So I feel like they've they've learned from that the previous game that they've had against uh, Paradigm, and they're sort of decided to go for more of offensive, more dynamic playstyle. So they they're capping the points a little bit further away from their keep. I felt like they spent a bit too much energy going for the keep in that previous game, where they had like four players up there and they just weren't able to break it, which was really their downfall. Uh, but with this, they're going to be holding the mine and the keep as well as sort of intercepting players across the map and and as you can see there's been a lot of kills dropping down there yeah you can see uh lots of fun players going down so there's not too many defenders at the moment oh uh, that poor engineer is going to get sandwiched from behind the chilling axle is going to hold him down he's not going to go into this fight with too much he's, he's now currently <laughs> at a i think it's a 3v1 here he's doing a good job of holding his own and Quite surprisingly, he's uh, still alive here. He's got that healing turret, which is just keeping him up. He's got oh. that regeneration buff on. And did drop the supply uh, just then, so getting another healing turret out is going to help him out, maybe and he's help got him that, survive. got that large boost in health, and those uh, explosives are going to be knocking everyone out of this circle. He's managed to contest this point for such a, a while now. He's doing really fantastic. And uh, immobilized going down on the Oh, but look then. at that, that sharpened blades. So he's taken 16, 17 stacks of bleed, and you can see all that damage coming out there. That was insane. And that's really what dropped him down in the end. I think, you know, Engineer being a very kind of, you know, he's what we call the adventurer profession. He's very rough and tumble. So he's uh, good at that kind of stuff, but the condition's taking him out. So the match that's been able to stunt the uh, point um, points of uh, fun by not letting them actually cap any points. All of these points have been in, in contest uh, for most of the match, actually. Although Matchless uh, holding the upper hand. I think their the offensive style and their sort of their... That dual guardian play is it's very defensive, but at the same time, they're able to push on through and last a lot longer. So it does look like this game is going to be finishing up here real soon. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It does look like the W goes down there. And uh, as always, stay tuned.